I'd like to use a simple example to communicate a really powerful concept. So out of the 11 triggers that we have, one of them is called story. And within the story trigger, we have a, a, a building block called visualization. It's a very important concept. And what that basically means is that anytime you have an opportunity to help your user visualize them using your product or owning your product or the benefits of your product, then you should do it. If you, if you can do it through video, that's great. If you can do it through images, that's great. If you can do it through writing, that's fine as well. But whatever it is you need to think about, you need to sit back and think about how can I better help my user visualize the product. I want to give a great example from this, from this uh, Dr. David Williams website. He is selling, they are selling a probiotic. And as you can imagine, probiotics are minuscule, you know, they have, they work in the body at the microscopic level, which means obviously as a consumer, I can't physically see the probiotics. So of course the idea is, well, how do we then help the user visualize? And they've done something pretty clever that I think is a very effective idea. So I'm just gonna zoom into this, this area. Can I zoom in? I think I already zoomed in enough. Okay, so what they've done is they, and I should actually zoom in like this. This might help. I personally just love this idea. I think it's really clever. So what they've done is they've shown how the probiotic releases good bacteria into the body. And so they say within one hour, they show a few dots, and then after three hours, they show a few more dots, and after six hours, they show you know millions of good bacteria and then billions of good bacteria. And so, you know, it's obviously, it's a very simple idea to visualize what happens in 10 hours. And so as a consumer, I'm able to visualize, which means I'm able to feel the benefits, which means I'm able, which means I'm incentivized to buy their probiotic. Great idea. Think about how you can use this on your own website.